in a matter of months, I, I lost my mom. I lost my home, my wife, my, my children, because I couldn't be a, a full-time father anymore. And um, it took actually a, a few years for that actually to hit me because there were so many things going on in my life at the time that were band-aids. And that's the thing with depression. Sometimes you don't really know that it's actually happening because as long as there's something, some people use drugs or alcohol to mask problems. I never did that, but but there was, for, for me, you know, I was on tour and I, we were playing and, and it was always something else I was doing to keep me busy. So my mind kept off of it. But then what happened was I had a down period time where there was nothing going on. So then my mind started to work. And as they say, a, a mind is a terrible thing to waste, but sometimes it's a terrible thing to use because your mind can make certain situations, you can blow them up tenfold, a hundredfold. And that's exactly what happened to me because, I, again, I never got to mourn my mom because I was mourning a divorce that happened soon after and all the things that went along with my divorce, losing my home, losing my children, my animals, and sitting there without... A, a home of my own to live. I was living with a friend of mine and then I, I moved to my condo and living by myself and I hadn't lived for, by myself at all ever. So now I'm sitting there alone and all of a sudden I start thinking about what happened the past few years that had went by and it was like a freight train that hit me all at once. And there were some other relationship things that had gone on and it hit me so hard. I didn't know what to do. I basically, from what they tell me, is that, that I had a nervous breakdown. And most people on the outside had no idea. Because if you looked at me, of course, I, I, I had to play the part of being a normal person. On the inside, it was everything was torn apart. My heart, my mind, everything, my body was just, it was so run down. And, you know, I, I felt like I had electricity pulsating in, in my body constantly. Um, I, my eyes were blurry all the time. I, I was short of breath. Everything that went along with panic attacks, anxiety, I had every one of those symptoms. And it was probably one of the worst things that I think anybody could ever go through. And, um, probably the darkest period of my life. I had to get through it for my children because, you know, I, I was basically, um, I was this shell of a person just trying to go through emotions and I was, I realized that I was losing time because I wasn't there mentally. I was there physically, but not mentally because I was thinking like, oh my God, you know, um, what if this happens? What if, I can't do this. And I became, like I said, that dark cloud was inside me. It was, and just going through the motions is, is not, you're not living. And I knew I had to get through it because of them. I had to live for them. I knew that I had to come out on the other side. I had two children that I had to take care of. I had a life. I had, I had responsibilities. So I knew that, okay, I, I'm here but I have to get to here. And things that, just people being there, they didn't have to do a damn thing. It wasn't about them giving you something, taking you somewhere. It was just them there to listen to you. And you knew that there was a, it was a sounding board, but it basically was me sounding off to them. And they just took it in. And I think for them, I think it gave them an awareness too, of what could happen to them. The people that really can get you through things are the ones that you can connect with. And that's what really got me through. It was, A, it was not turning to a, a liquor bottle, um, you know, a bunch of drugs. It was, it was actually coming to terms with what I had to come to terms with, knowing that, look, this is what it was, this is what it is, and... You have to see yourself through it. And as I told you, it took until I was, I turned 50 in 2014 to realize that I have more years behind me than I do ahead of me. 
So I try to think of it as, you know what, you got to throw those fears out because they probably won't come to re reality anyway. And you get one, one shot to do this life in and make the best of it. Because if you don't, nobody else will for you. I mean, I, I hate to say uh, you're not alone, but that's really, that's really uh, the truth. You're not alone because you know you can look at me or you or anybody else and think that well these people got it all together well that's not always the case i mean because everybody there's always something going on in someone's life always sorry it's just the way it is nobody is completely happy you know everybody everybody gets blessings everybody has a multitude of blessings and and sometimes when you're in that dark spot you can't see them you can't see him. You know what? It's the simple thing of waking up because you wake up and you go, you know what? I got another shot. I got a new chance today. Today's a new day. Forget about yesterday because there's nothing we can do about it. It's gone forever. You matter, you're needed, and you rock. <laughs>